You can use the adding machine script to add or subtract a list of numbers in any outline. Maybe you're working out your household expenses or a project budget or whatever. Your numbers that you want to add can go anywhere in the bullet. I've got mine at the beginning. But remember that adding machine will only read the first number it finds in any bullet. So we're ready to activate adding machine. And what just happened was adding machine calculated the sum of the first numbers in these lists and popped the total in here at the top of the outline. Now just to illustrate, if I change this number at the bottom to 220 and then run adding machine, you'll see the number at the top gets adjusted. Also, if I complete one of these lists and it also gets hidden, when I run adding machine again, the total is once again adjusted. Now I'm going to zoom out so that you can see my category A is part of a broader list. And now let's see what adding machine does in this outline. Not only has adding machine written a subtotal in each category list title, but also the grand total up here in the zoomed list title. What happens if I add a minus just before this number right here? You'll see that this category subtotal was adjusted as well as the grand total at the top of the page. Let me just undo that. So instead of pulling out your calculator every time you make any changes to your list, adding machine does the job for you. And this dynamic will definitely cut out on human error. I'm now going to jump to an adjacent outline. In this list, we have the exact same items, but I've dissolved the categories and the items have been randomly mixed. Also, I've categorized the items with some tags. See what happens when I click on one of these tags. It'll filter for all items with the same tag. The thing I wanted to show you here is that when you are in filtering mode and you run adding machine, instead of writing the sum to a list title, we get a pop-up menu with the total. Now to install the adding machine script. I'm going to zoom directly into adding machine and then the script bullet. And I need to enter the shortcut maker WFS. And the shortcut that I want to choose for whenever I need to activate adding machine. And that's all there is to the setup. In the next screencast up, we'll be giving the word count tool a good run for its money. You'll find a link to that show and tell in the description box below the video.